Well, hello to everybody out there in this great big world. This is your brother Dana, and I'm coming to you from the city of Atlanta with another Speaking Truth Regardless. To you, my white evangelical family members, I know you are rejoicing as you see same-sex marriage and now abortion being eliminated, causing you to believe that your righteousness is going to turn away the judgment of the Most High God. But see, your righteousness must surpass that of the Pharisees and the teachers of the law, Matthew 5.20. So I say to you, white evangelical conservatives who believe you are the teachers of the law and have invaded the nations across this globe to teach it and to solidify white evangelicalism and white supremacy, I say to you, woe. Woe to you. You are hypocrites. You are like whitewashed tombs, which look beautiful on the outside, but on the inside you are full of dead men's bones and everything unclean. In the same way, on the outside you appear to people, you appear to the world as righteous Christians, righteous white evangelicals, but on the inside, your religion and your hearts are full of hypocrisy and wickedness. See, you have neglected the most important things of the law, justice, mercy, and faithfulness. A gentleman that is running for governor here in Georgia tweeted yesterday that Georgia will be the safest place for the unborn child. It doesn't say what happens once that child is born. Because I know what happens. Because you're not pro-life, you're just anti-abortion. Because you're nowhere to be found to help that unwanted child be fed, clothed, protected, and raised. In fact, you are the group of people that piss and moan and groan about welfare. And when that child breaks the law, you are the first ones to lock them up. You are hypocrites. You believe that God will judge this nation because of a homosexual and an abortion but yet think that God will overlook the millions of lives you slaughtered to take this land and to build this land on the backs of our black brothers and sisters. Woe to you, you hypocrites. Micah 6, 8. God has shown you, O white evangelicals, what is good. And what does the Most High require of you? What does God require of you? But to act justly, to love mercy, and most importantly also to walk humbly with God. Then the word of the Lord came to Zechariah 7.9. This is what the Lord Almighty says, administer true justice. When have you ever administered true justice to our black brothers and sisters? In fact, you're doing everything to conceal your injustices by removing critical race theory and refusing to allow it to be taught, covering up your wickedness and your evil. To show mercy and compassion to one another. Do not oppress the widow or the fatherless, the alien or the illegal, as you put it, or the poor. 
And in your hearts, do not think evil of each other. So woe to you, you Pharisees, you teachers of the law, you white evangelical conservative Republican Christians. Your righteousness does not at all surpass that of the Pharisees or the teachers of the law. In fact, you are the ones that hinder people from understanding the truth of who God really is and the true Messiah, Yahshua HaMashiach, not the white Jesus that you teach to solidify your white supremacy. Your laws to stop abortion will not stop the judgment of God, for you still lack repentance. You still lack true justice. And when you kill by the sword, you die by the sword. And when you've taken into captivity, you go into captivity. Woe unto you, my white evangelical family members. Soon you will see that your so-called righteousness is not going to stop the fall of white supremacy that lives here in America. For the just God, the Most High Yah, is coming back to redeem His chosen people. And in doing so, the evil will understand His mighty hand of justice. Woe unto you. Woe. To those who have an ear to hear and a heart May you hear what the word of God says unto you.